Hi, Ian Newton here, and um, this is the EFT protocols for um, for smoking in particular. But as you'll discover, you can use EFT for any stress area in your life. Um, very brief background: it's been around for nearly 20 years now, based on some principles of acupressure, and we're applying uh, pressure or tapping to a point, and what is different about this to other systems is that you actually think about the exact problem at the time. So in the instance of smoking, if you're craving for a cigarette, uh, I'd recommend that you give it a rating uh, 0 to 10. It's always good for EFT and that way you can keep track of it. So say it's an 8 out of 10 craving for a cigarette. You would be thinking 8 out of 10 craving for cigarette as you tap the points. So the points basically run on the side of the hand. They call this the karate chop point. Each of these points are major acupuncture points. And as I tap this, I'd just be thinking 8 out of 10 craving for a cigarette. Next point, top of the head. Exact top point. 8 out of 10 craving. 8 out of 10 craving. Beginning of the eyebrow. Now you can use either side, either hand. 8 out of 10. And then I start to change the thought a little bit because there's more to it than just saying 8 out of 10. You might be here just craving for a cigarette. Use your language. It could be hanging out for a cigarette. I'd kill for a smoke. Dying for a cigarette. It's all I can think about. So these points were to the side of the eye, under the eye, on the bony part, under the nose, under the chin, across the collarbone points, so the hand will pick it up. Then we're going to use some hand points. We're using that aspect, so that aspect of the thumb, right there, tapping that point, and then tapping this finger here. S same thought, say whatever's on your mind. Craving for a cigarette, eight out of 10, could kill for a smoke. It's driving me mad. I can feel it in my gut. I can feel it in my chest. These are my words, but you'd be using your words. So you can follow along with me. Just tap the points. And what you'll find as you continue to tap the points, just easily, just in a relaxed way, that you'll find the intensity coming down. There is another point. It's, it's here on that side of the wrist, on the little finger side. And this is the one we call the panic button. Whenever there's anxiety or stress, do this one. Eight out of 10. And then you might do a couple of rounds, for example. If you needed to do more, you would just pause this and do another round. And then it might come down to a five. So then I'd be you know, just five out of 10 craving. Still got some craving there. Can still feel the need for it. It's still there in the back of my mind. Still thinking about it. It's still there. It's still there. Five out of 10. Five out of 10. Five out of 10. Five out of 10 craving. Five out of 10 craving. Now at this point, if you need to keep going, you'd keep going until you bring it down to a point where it really doesn't worry you. Now, you don't have to be craving for a cigarette to, to do this. It could be that it's 6 o'clock in the evening and you're concerned about waking up during the night for a cigarette or you're concerned about waking up first thing in the morning wanting a cigarette. And even the thought of that is causing you some stress. So I'd be tapping for worried about waking in the middle of the night. Might need a cigarette in the middle of the night. It's woken me up in the past. Maybe it'll wake me up tonight. Worried about waking up for a cigarette. Worried about waking for a cigarette. Worried about waking for a cigarette. Worried about waking for a cigarette. Tapping all the points, thinking about the problem. After you've done some rounds, it's always good to just sit back, take a deep breath, and then notice what you're thinking or feeling common feeling is people say 
you know, I just feel kind of relaxed at the moment. It could be that you started with an 8 out of 10 craving and you brought it down to a 5 and then you brought it down to a 3 and then suddenly the overwhelming feeling is now relaxation. And that's good. But it could be different. It could be that you started at an 8, you got it down to a 2 and it seemed to disappear because you had a craving right at that time and then what are you thinking or feeling? And the thought might be, hmm, but what if I want one in the morning? Well, what if I want one when I can't see this video? It's very simple. You would then go in the direction that your mind's going and you'd be tapping for, I might want one in the morning. I might want one when I can't see the video. How am I going to handle this? I'm not sure how I'm going to handle this. What's going to happen if I can't see the video? What's going to happen in the morning? Will I want one? And you just keep tapping around and around. The sequence that you do these in isn't important. I tend to just, you know, once I've done hand point to get started, I always start on this point they call the karate chop point and then work my way down. Um, I have seen absolutely severely stressed out people uh, get rapid, fantastic results with EFT. People whose, you know, loved one has just died literally hours before or somebody coming along after that, or somebody coming along when their a loved one is diagnosed with a terminal illness, or a person being diagnosed with a terminal illness, and so much stress. It doesn't matter what goes on in their lives, there's stress. So it could be, it could be whatever you're stressed about. Let's say if you wake in the middle of the night and you get some insomnia, then you can change this somewhat, because you really don't want to be lying in bed doing this, can't get to sleep, can't get to sleep. But you might just then just hold a point, hold a point and breathe deeply and notice in your mind that you can't get to sleep, but then just introduce what you want. Relax. And this point here, this would be a very easy point to use during the night because you could just press it. That's it. Just put some pressure on it. Think about the problem and think about the outcome that you want. Now, people often ask, why do you think about the problem and just not go straight to, I don't want to smoke, I don't want to smoke? Well, it's because it's addressing the reality of the moment. The reality of the moment, if you're craving for a cigarette or worried about craving in the future, then that's your reality. So you address that stress. Once that's gone, you can then introduce the positive. I'm a non-smoker. I love being a non-smoker. Love being a non-smoker. I've been a non-smoker for life. And you go through all the points and you just integrate that new idea a little bit more into your subconscious. So once again, the way we handle EFT is we identify the problem as specifically as possible. Give it a rating out of 10. It's always a good way to do it. Then whatever the problem is, just start tapping the points. Work your way around the sequence, a few taps on each one. Maybe do a couple of circuits and then take a deep breath and just notice how you're thinking or feeling. Hasn't changed. Okay, what do I do if it hasn't changed? Go back and have a look at what you're tapping for. It may be that 8 out of 10 is okay, but it could be that you have this gnawing feeling in your gut. Gnawing craving in the gut. Gnawing craving in the gut. Gnawing craving in the gut or it's just the, the only thought in my mind. But I would mix them up. I'd say something like eight out of 10 craving, the only thought in my mind. My, all I can think about is cigarettes. I'm thinking of going to the garage to get some. I can't wait any longer. Those kind of thoughts. Now I'm not implanting those thoughts into your mind, but you will know what those thoughts are. And you don't have to ask anybody what they are because they are the predominant thoughts. You all always tap for the predominant thought or feeling. And it could be that you've given up for a little bit and you've started again and you're annoyed at yourself. You're saying, annoyed at starting again, disappointed with myself, don't know how I could have done it, should have been stronger, should have been able to quit. Well, shoulds are a waste of time, but if that's what your thought is, that's what you tap for. I should be stronger than this. I should have quit. Why, why haven't I quit successfully? It doesn't matter. 
asking the why questions are kind of pointless, except that that's the stress in itself, and that's what you'll tap for. So go forward with this. The only people seeing this uh, video are people that I have seen uh, for hypnosis for quit smoking and are needing a little extra support in the background. So if you've got a difficulty, if you've got a question, please don't hesitate to call me or email me. Thank you, me and Newton. Wish you all the best.